Have you ever tried removing the background from a transparent object using the background eraser tool in Photoshop, but ended up with overdone transparency? Or perhaps you used the subject selection or background removal tools, but the result constrained the object's pixels entirely. In this video, you'll learn a trick to effectively remove the background from transparent objects. First, after removing the background using the Background Removal or Subject Selection tool, bring back the removed pixels by brushing the layer mask with white using the hard round brush with 100% opacity and flow. Duplicate the layer and place the copy underneath, then delete the layer mask. If you already have the original image underneath, you don't need to duplicate the layer. You can always go back and brush the object's layer mask to restore the pixels that were removed during the automatic background removal. If you want to retain certain areas of the original image, Apply a layer mask to the original image. On the mask, brush the areas you want to reveal with white and the areas to remove with black. For better organization in this example, I renamed the object layer, background removed, and the other layer, table. You can optionally place the new background you want to use underneath the object layer. If you need to retain parts of the original image, hold Control on PC or Command on Mac and click the layer mask of the original image to make a selection. Then, click the layer mask icon to apply that selection and press Control i to invert the mask. Rename the layer as New Background for clarity. When brushing the layer mask with black, you're hiding the pixels from the layer non-destructively and vice versa when brushing with white. Next, duplicate the object layer, convert the copy to a smart object, and temporarily turn off all layers beneath it. Go to Image, Adjustments, Hue Saturation, and decrease the saturation all the way. Then, go to Image, Adjustments, Levels, and increase the shadows in the input levels until all the areas you want to make transparent turn black. The darker the area, the more transparent it will be, so adjust this based on your desired result. Switch to the Channels panel, hold Control on PC or Command on Mac, and click the RGB channel icon to make a selection of the brighter areas. Return to the Layers panel and add a layer mask to the object layer. Reactivate the background layers to see how it works with the new background. Now. Duplicate the object layer again. Move it to the top and make it visible. Apply the layer mask, then add a white solid color adjustment layer beneath the duplicated object layer. Select both layers and merge them. Activate the background eraser tool. On the top bar, set sampling to once, limits to discontiguous, and tolerance to 90%. Click once on the background to sample a color. Then use the right bracket key to enlarge the brush size and brush over the image. In this example, the transparent object is quite dark, so the transparency effect isn't very obvious. If your object is brighter, the transparency might already look fine. However, if your object is dark like in this case, try this trick. Add a layer mask to the object layer. Set the brightness B of the black foreground color to 50. Select the layer mask and press Alt-Delete on PC or Option-Delete on Mac to fill it with the foreground color. Change the foreground color to white. Activate the brush tool with a lower flow amount, 10 to 50%, and use a soft round brush to carefully brush over the areas where you want to reveal pixels. Adjust the flow to control the intensity of the pixels you're revealing. That's how to remove the background from transparent objects in Photoshop. Once you're done, 
rename your layers properly for better organization. If you want to export the image with a transparent background, go to File, Export, Export As, set the format to PNG, check Transparency, click Export, choose your destination, and save the file. That's all for this tutorial. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome tutorials. See you in the next video.